Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be looking at three scrapbook.com purchases because, yes, one of the reasons why your girl is on a no spend is, just imagine, three orders from scrapbook.com. I just put them all together and waited for them to arrive so that I can do one big haul. I'm still waiting for the Frank Garcia one. So yes, that is why I'm on a no spend. And I got three free gifts. Let's start with the three free gifts that I got. Um, let's start. This one is a free gift that they had. And this is from Sweet Story Collection. Coincidentally, I also bought one. So I'm going to have two of these. This collection, Sweet Story. Next, I got a free distress oxide scattered straw. I hope I still I don't I don't have that. Then this one is a spellbinders cut and emboss, and this would probably be um, destashed because this is not my style. But it's free anyways. So next, let's go with the purchase. I'm not gonna divide them up or anything. It's just gonna go with in one sitting. So this one. This is the mini icons. I'm so excited about my doodle bug, um, doodle bug pegboard. I may show you later if the lights are okay. So this one has two different sheets. They're super, super cute. You guys know how much I love doodle bug. And this is from the candy carnival collection. So I finally got those. Let me give you, um, a closer clear version how cute are they what i normally do with these because they're made of thin paper i put them on nina solar white cardstock and create my own ephemera however since i have the stamp i may not have to because i have created so many um ephemera using the stamps i, I wish they had a mermaid girl and a mummy girl as part of the stamps this guy freaks me out <laughs> Oh, the spider boy would be so cute, wouldn't it? And then the ticket booth. Oh, I want to make that as a 3D project. That would be so cute. Yes. That's going to be so easy. You guys can do that. It's going to be so easy. It's just a box. Anywho, yes, that's another cute one to create. Next, I have Pumpkin Party. I have the... Okay, let's start with the candy carnivals. The Chit Chat Candy Carnival and the Odds and Ends Candy Carnival. If your girl wasn't on a spend freeze, I would have bought the Pumpkin Party collection, but that's not going to happen right now, and that's okay. But I want to show you the details of the Candy Carnival. Look how cute. I love this tent. This tent is legit. And this one is cute, too. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I am so excited. Alondra gave me a sneak peek of her food cart. You guys are gonna love it. Holy moly. Alondra, if you're watching, girl, I'm so excited about the pre premiere of your food cart. Food, yeah, food cart. It is a food cart. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's so cute. That girl is so creative. If you're watching, Alondra, I'm so excited. Look how cute. My favorite. I think this girl is my fave. She's super, super cute. And the spider boy. This one is my least favorite because it's so creepy. Because the eyes. Look at those eyes. It's like grayed out. Creepy, right? Anywho. Frankenstein is cute too. You see Frankenstein? Frankenstein has beautiful eyes though. Anyway, I'm not going to show you like all of it one at a time. But this is what it has. So cute. I'm so excited to put that in the pegboard. You know. You know what I mean. Look how cute. There's so many signs. Eat, drink, and be scary. How cute is that? Spooktacular Halloween night. This is perfect for scrapbooking your Halloween adventures. I just don't know. I'm off this Halloween, but I'm not sure if Halloween is going to happen because of the COVID. This one is not properly 
place anyway so cute look at these tickets you guys and then like good times look at that my my cousin eileen showed all the details of this in her um haul video so i'm sure you guys watch that because she's amazing i love her so much this one is folded on the inside next one is the pumpkin party guys my favorite part of the pumpkin party is the cute werewolf guy i'm just gonna unfold this one it's just folded it's gonna drive me crazy but look how cute this is the chit chat okay chit chat of the um pumpkin party pumpkin party is cute too i think pumpkin party is from 2018 yes so how adorable look our little pumpkin if you're making a scrap sorry about my nails uh, if you're making a scrapbook for a little one, their first Hallow Halloween adventure, that would be so cute. Isn't it? I like that trick-or-treat one. And look at this. It spells Happy Halloween, like all of it. It's spelled a hunting new will go so cute. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, beautiful. So cute. So that's, that's what the Chit Chat has from Pumpkin Party. I'm putting it on super close up so that you can see the details of the back. But this is my favorite. Isn't this your favorite too? Oh, the werewolf guy. And look, his clothes are tattered because, you know, he transformed into a werewolf. But he's still holding his pumpkin bag for candies. Pumpkin basket. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Don't you think this is so cute? I love the house too. The house is super cute. Let me move you a little closer. Oh my god, that fox is adorbs. And the mouse has big ears. And this ghost, can you see this ghost? They're so cute. And look at the balloons. I can use my balloon punch for, for that. Oh my god, the cake. I can't. Can you see the cake? Don't mind my nails, please. Holy moles. That's too cute. Look at this cauldron and the spiders. I'm just so happy. I I think 2008 they have they're not they haven't made stamps yet. They started doing stamps doodle bug in 2019 and that's why the collections after 2018 they already have stamp stamps coordinating their collection. So cute. Look at that guy. The the zombie guy. He's creepy, right? But the cake, did you see the cakes? I'm so going to recreate the cake. Look at the cake dessert table. Seriously, so cute. That's perfect. Scrapbooking a Halloween party. Like if your birthday celebrated around Halloween and everybody's in costume, wouldn't that be so cute? Next, as one of the purchases, Candy Carnival. Um, let me move you a little bit farther away. Candy Carnival 6x6. This is perfect for making your own embellishments because the prints are shrunk down. Look at that. So cute. Cute and cute. Right? So cute. Same as the... It's the same as what I showed you before. But this is just shrunken. Here. So cute. Look at that. Look at the spiders. They're so tiny. Love it. Oh my gosh. Look at our friends. So cute. I wish they had a Frankenstein stamp. That would have been cute for real. I used this one in my food cart series. Yeah, I wish I had these during when I was making my food cart. It would have been appropriately sized. So cute. Um, but still, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful, grateful. So cute are these kitties. Oh. oh my gosh. And then it repeats. You know. Next, for Say Cheese, in preparation for Disney in September, I got this stamp. I My favorite part is the jacket. I'm obsessed with jackets recently and sweaters. But I love this. I couldn't find a die. So I'm going to make this one in probably Mickey colors. 
next week I'm gonna be showing you guys I'm gonna start with embellishments that you can create not necessarily using a Disney collection is these are just plain colored cardstock and you're gonna realize like hey it's okay if I don't have a collection I can still create Disney stuff and I can join Disney in September PH8 2020 PHA challenge I love the hat that's cute look at the balloons the balloons are legit so cute and this is the say cheese for how cute next in the Halloween section this one is the um, icon cardstock stickers I don't have this one but you know, they're so cute. I wish I had a Frankenstein stamp. I would have been... That would have been cute to color, wouldn't it? So cute. His eyes are beautiful for a Frankenstein. This guy has creepy eyes. For real. Spider Boy is so cute too. Next. Okay, so I purchased... You saw in my previous haul that I purchased Hey Santa... The collection pack, like the bundle from UrbanGems.com. I'm gonna link them down below. That's my sh my friend, my friend Tara's shop. But she did not have the 12 by 12, and so I had, you know, this is before my spend freeze. And then right now, Urban Gems has the 12 by 12. Okay, so you guys make sure you check Tara's shop, UrbanGems.com. She has the Hey Santa collections. You're gonna love it. Let me go farther away so you can see. Uh, most of you guys probably have seen this before. So many people have been hauling it. Oh my god, how cute is that? I didn't see that. How cute. The houses. So it's very different from the 6x8. My toothpicks fell for my page flags. That's okay. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite for the mini. It looks like a mini mouse collection to me. Can't wait till Pussy got that. Another potential for Disney in September. Cute! This reminds me so much of Snowflake, you guys. So cute! Yes, the Santa Clauses. I got extra of that so I can Fussy Cut and make embellishments. I love embellishments. This one, I don't know, but I'll just put the Santa over there and make it Christmassy. See, this one was in Snowflake. I played with that collection last year, and it reminded me so much of Snowflake. So, if Merry Days and Snowflake got married, they would have Hey Santa. So cute, this cut apart. Look at that mouse. I love this 70s vibe. I think it repeats. So cute. I'm excited to make 3D projects. And I'm going to show you my wall. Even if it's crazy. So I got one more sheet of the Santa buttons. Next is a Hey Santa sticker pack. Which is made up of 207 stickers. I'm going to move you a little bit closer you guys. So you can see the details. This Santa is winking at you. Like, okay, you did something naughty, but that's okay. <laughs> cute. Look at that. That's so cute. Like a snow globe ornament. What a great idea. What a great idea. I'm so glad I have the stamp. So glad. There. This is thick. This one is clear. Cute Santa's. Santa with like cute cheeks. Look at that. These are clear as well. And the rainbows are really working out for me. I was surprised. Love the sentiments. Next. Okay, you guys. I am ready to I am ready to scrapbook about COVID-19, okay? I'm ready. I need, I'm ready to talk about it for historical purposes. Um, for my grandchildren, I'm sure they're going to be reading books about the coronavirus if the world is still alive by then. 
my grandchildren will be asking me and all I'm going to do is like, let me show you the scrapbook of COVID-19. And then you will understand what your parents have experienced. So I got these from Photoplay. I thought it was so cute and real, you know. So I got two of these collections, The New Normal and Living the Quarantine Life. I think it's so cute and it tells the truth. Um, yeah, I like that I survived the great toilet paper crisis of 2020. <laughs> Look at that shirt. Oh my god, this keeps on falling. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. We're going to do a flip through. But I like the colors, you know. So, just a regular red as a background. And then the back one is cut apart. Cut apart, books I read online education, work from home, homemade face masks, which I did, lots of movies we watched, some information about it, um, games we played, things that changed in my daily life since the pandemic began. So I think those are vital things to kind of talk about. And it's part of healing, is talking about it and documenting it. So I thought that would be a great one. Then this one, how cute are these cut aparts for Project Life? Staying home stages, working from home. Yay, I got to work from home and wear yoga pants. Stage two, G, it will be nice to talk to people. Stage three, I hope that pigeon sits in the window today. Will work for toilet paper. Oh my gosh, I survived the great, this one is so cute. I survived the great toilet paper crisis of 2020. So cute. Oh my gosh. It's for your own good. You've got to stop touching your face. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> so cute. And then we've already seen this one. And this one are like... Um, let me move you closer because you won't be... It's blurry for you. But look how cute these are. These are a little bit tinier for my taste. But it's cute. COVID, COVID-19, COVID-19. Self-quarantine, avoid touching your face, coronavirus, panic buying. We have photos of that. Social distancing, flatten the curve. Remember, flatten the curve was such a thing. Stay safe. I mean, I think it's travel ban, sanitize, masks, wash your hands, hashtag stay safe. Yes. So we can all... I think it's part of healing that we... We document about it and we document our feelings about it because yeah it's a huge thing it's a big big deal this is like I think this plaid is on the other side this one so this plaid is from this new normal um, this one is a front page Look how cute. Take out. We did a lot of take out just to help the economy. Come in, we're open. I love this beautiful mask. Wash your hands, social distancing. And this one has a sticker pack, which is super awesome. It's a little bit higher on the price point, but that's okay. It has a lot of the elements. So, so cute. Everybody versus COVID-19. Lots and lots of stickers. Uh, COVID hair, I don't care. Isn't that so cute? Stronger together. Just space out a little bit. Quarantini, isn't that so funny? Look at the bear hugging. Stay positive. Support. Support home delivery. Love my quarantine. The new normal. Self-quarantine. Wear a mask. Hand sanitizer. Sorry, we're closed, you know, everything. Social distancing, curbside, yep, I'm essential. I have a lot of pictures, like selfies in the tent, wearing gas masks, whatever. So I think that would be so cute. Um, meetings, essential workers. So I think this um, is super, super important to document as people. <laughs> Who want, wants to start healing this one is my favorite because i can fussy cut them all i just don't know what i'm gonna do with all these though um but yeah it's a lot and it 
I couldn't see very much online, but the back part is, guess what, t-shirts! T-shirts that you can fussy cut. How cute would this be? Oh, adorable, isn't it? Like her virus. Social distancing club, straight out of quarantine. If you can read this, you are too close. COVID here, don't care. Yup, I'm essential property of 2020, the pandemic. <laughs> Seniors 2020. The one where we were quarantined. Oh my God, for my daughter. Look at that, Superman. Free hugs. Just kidding, don't touch me. <laughs> That's so cute. We can't be doing that. For the first time in history, we can save the human race by lying in front of the TV and doing nothing. Let's not screw this up. Oh my God, hilarious. Oh my gosh, you guys, take a stand, wash your hands. Queen of the so queen of social distancing. So cute. You, yo, this is the biggest game of, of cooties I've ever seen in my life. COVID-19, worst case scenario. Look at that, no toilet paper. <laughs> I survived coronavirus and all I got is this shirt. <laughs> Act like your ex just walked into the party. Practice social distancing. Oh my god. This is for my daughter, class of COVID-19. Seriously, I'm gonna put that in her scrapbook. Social distancing world champion. Oh my god, Sasquatch! How funny! Oh my god, these are adorable. Just roll with it. Um, uninstalling. Can we uninstall 2020 and install it again? The version, this version has a virus. Isn't that funny? COVID fashion. Everybody versus COVID-19. Help, I'm stuck home with my kids. <laughs> a mask. Look at that. No people. <laughs> Stay positive. No virus. Quarantine mode off. I don't know what that means. Social distancing. Cute. Like, this is the friends. Um, Like, font. Puzzle master. Yes, we did puzzles. COVID-19 warrior. Namaste. Namaste. Stay six feet away. Stay home club. The quarantini. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Six feet. Stay positive. I COVID it. COVID it. Cute. Just no touching hands. Tissue paper. Family. Next slide, Kenneth. I don't know what that means. Strong. I'm sure somebody knows. Stronger together. Stronger together. Just space out a little. So, just imagine this is the back part that you can cut apart and this is the back part. Come on. This is amazing. This is an amazing set. This one has a lot of logos. This is perfect because I'm going to be making, you guys, this is the back part. This, these are partners. I'm going to be making a traveler's notebook. Not sure yet. Maybe traveler's notebook or because I haven't started my 2020. So I haven't decided yet, but definitely I'm going to document COVID-19. That's for sure. We're all in this together. How cute. I had my patients tested. It was negative. <laughs> oh my God. 18 chihuahuas distance. Social distancing guideline for dog people. <laughs> Four bagels. For the first time in history, we can save the human race by laying lying in front of the TV and doing nothing. Let's not screw this up. That's my favorite. Quarantini is super cute. COVID-19 fact 2613, 87% of gym members don't even know their gym is closed. Very good. That's me. I'll be signing happy birthday. I'll be saying happy birthday to you as I wash my hands. There's no place like home. Yes. Lots of being home, you guys. These are so cute, I think. Um, oh my gosh, can I show you these masks? How amazing. This is my favorite of all the masks. Actually, they're all cute. This is cute too. This is an amazing paper by Photoplay, you guys. Um, remember, the name of the paper is The New Normal by Becky Moore. So cute. I love the lining, the blue lining of that. I like them all, actually. And this is the back part, okay? So cute. Uh, this one is next. This one and this one are partners. So cute. I don't know if I should fussy cut these or not. But I think that's a good idea. Don't know. We will see. But they are cute and 
Yes. I'm just showing you what partners are. What are the partners? Oh my gosh. Yep, I'm essential. I have that. I think this is just like a lot of the repetition. It's a repeat of the shirts, I think. But they are cut apart for Project Life or not. doesn't have to be Project Life. Um, but this would be so cute for like um, a card. So cute. I got some alcohol for your birthday. Party on. <laughs> Sanitizer. That's cute. And this is the back portion of it, which is... Let me show you the details. It's pretty cool, actually. These are icons like germs and masks sanitizers crayons like stuff we dealt with gas mask lots of stuff that we dealt with this is amazing this is an amazing collection and then i got extra i got one one of one uh, two extra of this paper so i thought it was so good because i think i was I'm going to make um, two albums for um, COVID-19. So this, oh, these hauls are one of the reasons why I am on a no spend right now, you guys. Can you see how much it is? Yes. I'm sure you can. I'm excited to fussy cut these, you guys. Oops, sorry. I bumped my camera. But I'm really, really super excited. I hope... I hope you found something that you liked in this collections that I that I showed you. If not, that's okay. But I wanted to share them with you so that I can start playing with them. Um, anyway, that is it for me, you guys. Oh, yes, I got something from AliExpress. See? Told you. This is a house die. I was anticipating it to be a little bit bigger. Um, I just want to see how it worked. This is a house die. Let me see, because this one is like a tissue paper. I don't know how I'm... So I'm getting this so that I can see how I'm going to transform this into like a manually done. We will see. We will see. I'm going to make measurements and go from there. Not promising anything, you guys. I'm a little bit busy right now. But eventually, I'm going to put this in my to-do list. And then when I'm, I'm not busy about any kind of campaigns or anything, and we're just crafting like normal, then yes, definitely that is something that I can potentially do. Anyway, that is it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful crafty day. Take care, you guys. Stay safe. Have fun. Bye. Got to show you guys. This is where I was. I put the um, the Hey Santa collections. This is where I put my Hey Pumpkin in my pegboard. This is where I put the Live Life Happy. So they are sitting. Let me show you. Oh, you're gonna see my craft room. That's what they look like. This is the pegboard that is in front of. Yeah, that's what the lights I use. But that's what's in front of my desk. So that it ex inspires me. And I'm going to shop my stash. Let me show you the other pegboard. So, this is what it looks like. I just did my, um, like, doodlebug pegboard. Because I love doodlebug so much. Let me give you a little bit of a view. Um, special projects from friends. There's a pegboard and some, you know, little pops. So with this one, I'm going to be adding them here as part of the collection. Wait, I need to put that. See, I realized that I love odds and ends so much. And... I want it to be inspiring. Maybe I'll put all the Halloween in one side. Because it's going to look like way too Halloween-y. And then this one is going to be there. Wouldn't that be so cute? And then this one is going to be up top right there. 
so cute. And then the 6x6. Six six, I'll add the 6x6 six six there. But this is what it looks like now that we have all the hauls in place. Yep, I got the pegboard. My husband made it for me and I got the pegboard from, I think, Lowe's. Anyway, I hope it inspires you to use your scrap stash, shop your scrap stash, and organize your scrap stash. Okay, yeah, guys, this is really, really it. This is Christian signing off. Have a wonderful crafty day. Let me know if you have any questions. Put a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you subscribed. Thank you so much. Bye.